I'm sure our friends listening can hear that uh, breathing for me is not easy, yeah. which makes talking a little challenging at times. And uh, real quickly, I was rushed to the hospital last year this time with significant breathing problems. And I was told that uh, being an aging quadriplegic, my lungs are just giving away. And so my heart has to beat faster to get more oxygen mm. because my uh, CO2 levels in my blood are so high. So my heart beats faster, but my lungs can't deliver. And so I was gasping for breath. But now, Bob, they've got me on a breathing machine at night. And so my body gets a fresh infusion of oxygen and uh, my levels now are, are good and I'm happy about that. But I just have to be careful and, uh, and just breathe deeply during uh, the yes. day and make sort of nice day on that machine at night. Other than that, I feel pretty good. That's great. And you have gone through two rounds of cancer basically having yes. completed how long ago was that the, the last bout well the second bout was in december of 2018 okay. and i've got a pet scan coming up in a month so i'm praying that uh it'll be clear but you know what bob if it's not clear if i've got cancer uh it won't be a detour into what otherwise is a rich full and meaningful life it'll be the highway that god wants me to take mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. um, i'm prepared my husband is prepared for good news or not so good news, because I know whatever the news, God has planned it, God has allowed it, there's a purpose in it, and His grace will sustain us. And so onward and upward, right? Absolutely, I think you just answered my next question because there are those who could become, just by virtue of having to, to deal with quadriplegia on a daily basis and what that involves. What it involves to be, Johnny, for you to actually come here in your wheelchair and to be part of NRB, to do this interview, to do the incredible ministry that God has given to you, that is certainly a, I would rate that to be a challenge. It's a challenge, when you, when you, yeah, to the understatement there. And then when you think about almost a year ago being rushed to a hospital with the breathing issues, someone might say to God, why me? Or not again, this can't be happening. Isn't this, an, I mean, isn't this enough? How do you avoid that? Well, Jesus himself promised something. He said in the Gospel of John, in this world, you will have trouble. Yeah. You will have trouble. God has wired this world to be very difficult. It's because it's broken. It's broken because of our sin. So there's gonna be pain, there's gonna be disappointment. So the Bible also says, do not be surprised at the fiery ordeals which come to try you because they test your faith. That's also echoed in James chapter one. We're told to welcome those trials, um, welcome them as friends because again, they come to test our faith and produce in us the quality of endurance. Oh, Bob, I can't wait to get to heaven and have Jesus look at me straight in the face and say, Johnny, I allowed this to happen in your life. I allowed that cancer. I allowed quadriplegia. I allowed those breathing problems. I allowed the pressure sores. I allowed the lung infections. But with my grace, you made me look so good. You made my <laughs> grace look wow. so sufficient. Well done, good and faithful servant. Enter now into the, the joy of your master. Bob, I can't wait to hear those words. And so if God in his wisdom permits one more trial to occur, whether it be cancer or whatever, I know that they come to test my faith and prove my confession of the gospel in that Jesus is ecstasy and, and, he's, and he's worth anything. He, he's, he's ecstasy beyond compare and it is worth anything to be his friend, no matter what the trouble. And I pray, Bob, that these good words inspire our listeners to look at their trials in the same perspective. Philippians chapter two, verse 14 says, do everything without grumbling. Mm. The Bible thinks we can go through life without complaining, isn't that amazing? So I challenge our friends on Faith Radio today uh, after, they, uh, after they get on with their afternoon or morning, I challenge them not to complain, but to welcome that trial as a friend, to realize it's come to test, to prove, to make more strong their faith so that in persevering one day they'll hear those good words from their savior well done mm. good job you made the father look good <laughs>